uh, find you well on this uh, fine uh, July afternoon. I mean, those that are still in the States are still enjoying um, their Independence Day and the rest of the world, it's business as usual. My name is Prosper Tarubinga and I'm checking in live uh, from Melbourne at the Leave Long Digital Headquarters where they keep me here so I can help businesses start, scale and grow their own businesses so that they have um, a profitable and um, enjoyable enterprise. I also have been uh, told by my legal team to put out a disclaimer because of these videos to say that the advice that is given in these videos is only for a general nature and it's not to be taken as professional advice and Live Long Digital is not going to be liable for your loss of business while you're watching this video. The reason is uh, people have been saying that these videos are too long, but you know what? It's the value that we try and bring in. It's the, um, you know, um, c commitment that we have to actually help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. If you're just tuning in, please type in where you're checking in from. It will also help us know the impact of where we're heading to and how this is actually helping you with your business. All right, without further ado, I just want to really jump into this. And Jack, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Hope you're going to have so much value in this one, which is what we're really, really talking about, okay? So at... Um, um, it, you know, in all essence and in all that we know, we know that people are paid in direct proportion to the value that they bring into the marketplace, right? That's a given and that's what is supposed to be happening either online, offline, whatever value you give out to people, they will pay you in accordance to that. Now, who measures what value is and who measures how much is enough value for somebody to actually reciprocate that with their credit card and say, hey, listen, I'm going to pay you. This is the money for the value that you're offering. OK, so this is something that I want us to um, explore today. It's not a very easy topic. And like I've said in the disclaimer, this is only going to be, um, you know, advice of a general nature. Since I'm just a strategist, I'm not going to be giving you tricks to actually go in and start um, doing with your business. All I give is an idea of what's possible and you can then make a decision as to how you can implement this in your business. All right. So I'm not going to want um, anybody writing me and telling me that I've been watching your videos uh, since day one and my business is not even moving, um, etc., etc. It's not my fault. I'm just a strategist. I tell you what's working with other people, whether it works with your business or not. That's up to you now erica says hello nice to be here again right every time erica that i finish a video i ask people have you got value from this uh show and every time people uh tell me yes i got value yes i got value but i went in and i really went deep down and i started really researching what value really is and what people actually want to see and what people actually need in their business right now i don't know you or i don't know what you sell but i know your biggest problem is you're looking for leads i know your biggest problem right now is you've got no guaranteed income i know your biggest problem right now is you're studying everything that's on the internet just to get ahead I know right now your problem is you have no system to follow. I know right now your problem is you have no process or procedures in your business that you can actually articulate and say, this is what I do in my business and this is the value that I offer. I know for sure if you're watching this video right now, you basically have no freedom. You're tied to your computer 24 seven just so you can fulfill tasks. That's as far as I know about you. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments right there. Asa, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're feeling better today. Okay? So, I also know that you are alone right now and sometimes you don't have a network around you that supports you except for the people that you are in groups with on Facebook. I also know that you are struggling and you're not making enough income and you're very, very skeptical of results. Now, the value that might make you 
um, you know, appreciate what I bring in is if I give you content that's actually actionable, if I know that you've actually spent money on other courses and just give you stuff that would actually be a no brainer for you to just go in and plug into your business, that I think is what will be value for you. If I give you a proven system of actually is working right now with proven results and proven solutions, that would be of utmost value to you. If you actually see positive results or you see raving results, I feel like that will be of utmost value to you. Or if you are maybe one of those people that love jumping onto webinars or a live feed like this, having an experience with somebody who is in the trenches and is actually doing stuff for you, that could be value for you. But who am I to know what it is that you want? All right. That's the same that's going on with your clients right now. That's the same that's going on with your um, your prospects. They are looking for more things than you are providing with your value proposition. Okay. Remember, these people that we're talking to are people like you and me. These people are people that also have blood. They wear their pants one leg in, one leg out, just like any other human being. All right. What value are you actually giving to them so that you can warrant them sticking around, paying you stuff, and hopefully actually making you reach and you go and, uh, you know, achieve your goals? What value are you putting out to the market? All right. I just explained to you what it is that I think like you're going through right now and you're trying to create this business so that you get to be profitable and enjoyable and how you can actually, um, you know, get people to start liking, knowing and trusting you so they can pay you money to actually, um, you know, fund your lifestyle and fund your dreams and everything else that you want to create in your legacy. What value are you putting out there? Okay, so you really want to really, really consider what actually defines or what actually constitutes to be value to the other person. You might think what we're, I might think that what I'm doing right now is valuable to you. It might not be. I might just be making noise to you or I might just not be, um, you know, giving you the things that you're expecting every day. Like I said in the disclaimer, this is just general advice only. If you really want me to, to look at your stuff, or if you really want a coach or a consultant to look at your stuff, re ring them or get in touch with them so that you see what they can propose regarding your specific situation, okay? So I know specifically that even if you're putting out contracts, if you're putting out proposals to people there, or if you're um, you know, trying to get um, leads, your competition is doing the same. Your competition is out there and is trying to get the same client that you're also trying to get. How are you now standing in front or how are you standing head and shoulders above the competition so that your clients can then choose you based on the value that you are giving out? It's not an easy topic to tackle, and I know a lot of people will be like, nah, this is not important for me, but this is exactly the one thing that people transact, share money with you, share your stuff, and, 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 and like your comments, or like your videos, it's because of the perceived value that you're actually bringing into the marketplace. How are you making their life better? How are you changing their life? Or how are you making their life easier? All right? Because any person right now will always be looking for this. What's in it for me? W-I-I-F-M. Every single client will just look at this video right now and say, if he doesn't say three things in the next three seconds, I'm just going to skip. All right. But, but have you stopped to think what sort of value are you actually giving to anyone? The buyers, the people that we're talking to are people like me and you. Exactly, you know, they feel the pain, they have problems, they have kids, and you must have a solution and value that will actually help them to, you know, g g get past those problems. All right. Now, Erica says, not sure about me. I have a great flow of customers, but I still enjoy this. And I like to be reminded of all the great info. I am very inspired. It's, of course, valuable info. Okay. 
that should be fine. But some people that I know are actually struggling at the moment. Some people, are, they, they, they don't have a process. And that's the value I'm trying to bring to people so that they can have a business that's profitable and um, enjoyable. Okay? So like what, um, you know, Erica is saying, she, she has, you know, happy customers. Good for her. But a lot of people, they also have, um, you know, trouble getting those customers to actually start transacting and making money with them. All right. Buyers or people or prospects, they're not mythical creatures, guys, you know, or they're not unknowable. These are people like you and me. They're humans. Like I tried earlier on, they also, you know, put on their pants one leg in and one leg after the other, just like what you do every single day. They wake up, they kiss their wives goodbye and they go to work or they go and start their businesses, depending on what your, 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 your clients actually do. OK, so. In their, in, in their day-to-day -day life, they're actually responsible for making a profit themselves or they're responsible for removing whatever pain that your solution or your product can fix. All right. So, you know, whenever these problems arise, they look up to you to solve their problems. Now, what are you doing to show them that you are the one to, you know, s solve their problems? All right. I was reading somewhere where it says that about 63% of all the sales are uh, they are lost in 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 a in a no man's land that is called no decision. You know what? You send a proposal or you you reach out to somebody but then they don't just get it. They are not feeling the vibe. They don't know what you're selling and then they don't know whether to go with you or not. They're just going to wait and see if somebody else is not going to offer them another offer. All right. So behind all, you know, you know, you know, all these losses is a, is a huge amount of wasted effort, especially on your part when you're calling them, emailing them. And it's, it always ends up as a lost opportunity because buyers, they don't know what you are offering them. They cannot see the value. You know? You see, they, 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 they're really going on here and they, they don't know what, what's in it for them. What are they going to get? What aspirations are you fulfilling with your product? What, you know, you know, education are you offering them? They are not well versed with what you're offering as value. So it makes them, it, it numbs them with the decision, you know, phase. They then don't make a decision. I was playing around um, a little bit earlier and then I put out uh, the acronym VALUE, V-A-L-U-E. I'm going to explain these things as we go. V for vision, all right? Your clients have goals, they have aspirations, they have places they want to be. Is your pro product actually solving those goals, is, is, I mean, those, those problems that they might face on their way to their goals, okay? So A would stand for accountability. Is your product going to be helping them actually achieve those goals if you're providing them with the value? Okay? And L is leadership. Everybody wants to feel important. Is your product going to make them feel loved by the people around them? Is your product going to make them feel knowledgeable? Is your product going to make them feel um, like a leader amongst the people that are around them? Because everybody wants to feel important. Okay? And then U stands for unity. Is your product going to bring them to get closer to their goals or is their product going to um, bring them closer to their clients or whatever it is that they aspire for? All right. And then E is education. Is it teaching them anything different? Is it making their job easier or are you teaching them something they can be proud of? So this is just my, my um, you know, chop and change of how I think value should be, um, you know, should, should be represented. V for vision, A for accountability, L for leadership, U for unity, E for education. All right. If somebody can just type it in there so that the other people can actually see what I'm talking about. I, I know I'm just going fast. And, and, and it might not be making sense. If you're not getting it, let me know there. Okay. So like I said, guys, we are paid in direct proportion to the, um, you know, value that we're bringing into the marketplace. All right. Like I'm saying, sales are lost during the time when people are trying to make a decision. It's because they are not sure if whether to go with you or not. 
And whatever value proposition we're putting out there, we're not making it easier for the clients to see if there's a vision, if their vision is being aligned with, if there's going to be accountability with your, your services, if the leadership that they're looking for is going to be fostered by what you're providing them, if there's going to be any unity between where they are now to their goals and is your product going to be actually bridging that gap and are you educating them on something new or something different? That's what I think value is. And if any of the stuff that you're putting out there, your content, your blogs, your lives, um, you know, talking to people or whenever you're pitching your products, if you are not touching any of these five points, it might be the reason why your sales are not converting. All right. So, you know, buyers are always trying to avoid risk. Because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of competition in the market that is trying to vie for their money, vie for their credit card. You have to make it a no-brainer. Make it so easy for them to, to, to go with your service. All right. I will also, I know amongst my audience, I have people that are consultants and people that offer a service to, uh, you know, other businesses. This is what I do. And this is something I cannot vouch for it, but it gives really good results for me. Okay. So I go onto a job site. All right. I go onto a job site normally every morning or something like that. And I look at people that are, um, you know, searching for, to employ an SEO consultant or to employ a digital marketing consultant, or to employ somebody that can, um, you know, help them with the business overall. And then I go in and see what the requirements for that person to apply are. So most of them are like, you know, updating our social media profiles, uh, putting out uh, content, etc., etc. which are the things that I can do. Then I then look up that website that is looking, that is putting out that job offer. What I do is then I then, um, you know, look for emails. Those people that are in consultancy know how to find emails for whatever website. I then write to them, putting out a proposal and telling them exactly what they are applying, I mean, that they're advertising to get somebody for a job for, all right? What this then does is I'm actually giving them the value that they're looking for in the market. They are a hot lead. All you got to propose to them is to take away the risk of them having to employ somebody, all right? And then just having somebody who is a freelance consultant to help them achieve whatever goals they have. So once you actually know what somebody is looking for within the market and for consultants, this is a trick that you can actually use and try. And if you've used it, please let me know how you go. Okay. And um, Asa, thank you so much for sharing this video. All right. So, you know, the, the, the buyer might give you a lot of reasons why they're not going to proceed, you know, because it boils down to one single factor. It boils down to just one thing. They simply don't believe your value proposition or they simply don't believe that they're going to get a much value from what you're saying because of your collateral on online. Okay. So what has been proposed to them, it doesn't mean, it doesn't look like they're going to get value for their money or their return on their investment. All right. So you need to make sure that you take away that doubt. You take away that disbelief that your clients might have that they are not throwing money down a rabbit hole. All right. And how do you do that? You, you lead with value. All right. So they want to know that the benefits that you're talking about, are they going to actually outweigh the costs of having somebody like you working with them continuously? Or if you're a PT, if, if they cannot just watch, um, you know, videos online or on YouTube and then just lose that weight. So you need to literally show them how the benefits of what you're proposing will actually make a huge difference. And it won't even, um, you know, dent their pockets as much as they are afraid right now. So a lot of us find us ourselves in, in, in a position where, you know, you, you, you think you've put out the best proposal, you've, you've told them everything else, you're solving their problem, etc., etc. But when it comes to the negotiation and signing on the dotted line, your clients start getting cold feet. Yeah, the solution really is, is normally quite simple. It's to actually better, you, you need to understand the value in what you are selling. What will happen to their business if they don't actually use your services? What are they missing out on? 
All right. So like I said, with value, you need to show them the vision of what they will miss out on if they don't go ahead with your services. All right. Most of the time when I'm sort of engaging a client, I ask them, so where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? And then they start telling me what's happening in between. And then I fill in either the blueprint or my services. And then I say, so would you want to wake up 10, 15 years or whatever time we've discussed without those things that you want? Now you've created a void and you've instigated the value that your service actually provides. And it becomes a no brainer for them to actually buy what you're selling. All right. So, I mean, value is, 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 is perception. It's, it, it differs as to who is receiving it and who is giving it. But as long as you know what it is that you're offering, as long as you know that it will be a no brainer for them to go ahead, as long as you know what they will miss if they don't go ahead with your services. And like what Luke says, brilliant, sell on benefits. Exactly. People want things that actually work things that actually function, things that are actually going to help them go away from where they are to where they actually want to be. All right. So most of the time when I'm invited to talk uh, for audiences, especially when people are stuck within their marketing um, environment and I'm just going to give them a strategy, all I look at is what have they done? Where do they want to go and look at what strategies they can use in between? All right. So most of the time when, when the buyer is really making a consideration and that's when people say, oh, you know what? Let me sleep on it or stuff like that. Nobody sleeps on a decision. They are just not seeing the value and they don't know how to tell you. You know, maybe some people's, you know, their process of buying things or, or, you know, engaging your services. If you're a consultant, it, it might be different with, with bigger businesses. What normally happens is they have to talk to the manager and then the manager has to go and speak to the buyer, et cetera, et cetera. Or if you're speaking to households, maybe the person has to talk to their wife or talk to the brother, et cetera, et cetera. There might be a difference in, in, in the way they make the decision. But the underlying fundamentals are totally the same. Buyers, they buy from their gut, they buy from their head, and then they buy from their heart. All right? So it starts with the gut, and then they make a rational decision, and then how they feel. So if you're not pulling and tweaking your proposals or your, um, you know, elevator pitch to, to touch any of those aspects, you're leaving money on the table. You're not providing anyone with value and you're not going to be paid in accordance with the value that you can provide to the market. Now, Luke says, best line in selling, I've heard more of your money in your pocket. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. More of your money in your pocket, you know, because they want to save money or whichever way, whatever guarantees their decision because their gut, their gut really is every inch or every cell in their body. If they feel nervous or they're afraid, they're not going to go ahead with that transaction. Do you know what I mean? They need to make sure that they can actually put a quantity to that value. And then also what quality are they actually perceiving and getting? So there's a lot of stuff that happens in the transaction process. All right. And, um, you know, you, when I speak of gut, you know what I mean? It, it actually attributes to, I think it was Deepak Chopra who says guts are feelings that every cell in your body make. Or, you know, you, you, you know, you know, every cell in your body comes together when you're making that decision. All right. So when sometimes when people want to talk and then they, they like, oh, I don't know what it is, but something maybe in their arm is refusing them to make that decision. You want to make sure that you've got all the bases covered. You've showed that how much value you can provide. Your, your value has vision. Your value has accountability. Your value has leadership. Your value has unity and your value has education. All right. So a lot of us, when we're trying to sell things to, to, to people, we skip all these attributes. You know what I mean? We, we just go in straight and say, hey, this is what I'm selling. Hey, Francesco, you need to buy my $15,000 um, course before I've even figured out what it is that Fran Francisco actually wants. All right. So it, it's one of those things. I'm also guilty of those things a lot. And then and, and when I was looking into this, my job as a strategist is not to give you the shiny objects. It's actually to give you the strategies that you would look up, 
Look at your business and go, oh my God, what am I doing? Let me do it this way. And then you come out a winner. All right. I'm not here to give you, you know, the, the, the latest click funnels, the latest uh, Facebook trick that is just going to last, you know, limited time only or whatever. I'm here to give you the fundamentals of actually what will make you last in business tomorrow, next week or next month. All right. Some of these things are, 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 are might just be, oh, yeah, he's motivational, he's, he's, he's just talking, whatever. But it's things that people actually consider. It's things that people actually sit down and think and feel. Do I really need to buy stuff from Francesco? Do I really need to buy this from Erica? What is Prosper offering? So you need to make sure that you have covered all those bases so that you're not losing money. Your ad spend is not just going to waste. Your click funnels is not just going to waste. All right. A lot of buying decisions are triggered by fear. Figure out what value you're actually offering so that when you help your customers, they actually understand that you are saving them from something. That's where value can now be, you know, quantifiable and they can actually see that you have done something for them. I always tell this story about my little girl and helping her to tie her shoe shoelaces. The value that's in there is the rest of her life she's not going to fall. The rest of her life she's not going to have bruises. All right? That's something she has gone away just by knowing how to tie her laces. So you want to make sure that when you're crafting your value proposition, that it's actually saving somebody money. You are not only just tricking that person so that you get money or you get paid. All right, because then they're not going to continue doing business with you. And then auto, all of a sudden you continuously just keep trying to get business and it's not going to work. What does Luke say? Luke says bridging the gap between their concerns and their benefits. Exactly. Because a lot of us are being bombarded with a lot of fear right now. If your product is going to show them that, okay, listen, I'm a graphic designer. Here I am. Right now, you're not being seen on the market because your, 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 your logo is not standing out. Let me fix that for you and you can be visible. That's what Luke would say. All right. So you want to protect your customers against their fears. And once you can do that, your value now aligns with their vision. It aligns with the accountability that they need because people are so lazy. It aligns with the leadership that they want within their business so that they are seen or they are heard or whatever it is that, that tickles their fancy. And, you know, they are united with their visions and their goals and you are actually educating them. That's value. All right. Okay. So, you know, sometimes, you know, buyers make you know, logical or whatever uh, decisions. I'm not a big fan of logical uh, thinking. I'm not an expert in that part. But it, it just goes to testify that if you give people a few things to nibble on, the logical part of their brain will then justify what decision that they're going to, um, you know, uh, make. So the head obviously drives the logic um, to, towards making that sale or making that purchase. And, you know... They, it's, 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 it's a few people, you know, make decisions on logic. Yeah. So you want to reduce the thinking aspect of making the decision by following what the customer automatically wants, aligning it with their vision and just giving it up to them. All right. So if you're providing quality in your products, connectivity, that when they do purchase that, that product, you're going to be there after sales. You're going to be there to explain it to them. Buyers just want to make an impact and create a legacy. That's all there is, especially my clients. They just want to create an impact and, 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 and make a legacy. So if you can then offer them an opportunity to do just that, yeah, you know what I mean? All you're doing is you, 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 you are leaving your, your customers with so much value that they're smarter, they're better, and they're in the path to actually go in and do whatever it is that they want. All right. And uh, Luke says, I don't have to make. <laughs> yeah. OK, so, you know, there, there, there's never going to be anything that's going to be cookie cutter. And that's the sort of, area, um, you know, lifetime we're living in right now. So no two people are going to be the same. So if something is valuable to one person, it's not going to translate to the other person. But there's usually, um, you know, you know, co 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 um, what do you call them? Like um, things that are common. 
So if you're going to be selling to different people, you know, with all their hopes, their fears and their problems that you are actually solving, provide them with something that's specific to them. And when you understand what your buyers think is valuable to them, it actually takes away the guesswork of them, you know, making that purchasing decision. You would have huffed the whole, you know, email or phone tag that happens when people cannot make a decision. It also helps you to frame, um, you know, what your buyers actually appreciate to be valuable. All right. So all of this, guys, it's 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 all stuff that is in there. And today we were just talking about the payoff. The payoff is the value that you actually give to your customers. So there's method in this old madness. If you haven't gotten a copy of the blueprint, just type in blueprint. And I really, really hope you got value from this show today. See you again tomorrow.